Curious About Birds, written by Catherine Sill, illustrated by John Sill. And I love these little nonfiction board books. It's great to help our little learners learn about the world around them. Birds have feathers. Birds hatch from eggs. So this would be a great one to practice pointing if you've got an emergency. Birds have feathers. Birds hatch from eggs. You could ask them to identify the word birds in each sentence. Birds have wings. Birds have bills. If you look at that picture, what do you think a bill is if you don't already know? Yeah, their beak. It's another word for beak. Some birds are big. Some birds are small. There's a hummingbird. Hummingbirds are very small. Most birds fly. Some birds swim. Most birds build nests. Some birds build nests in high places. Some birds live in groups. Some birds live alone. Which birds live in groups? Penguins! Which ones live alone? An owl. And actually the caption of all of these pictures tells us what type of bird is in the picture. Some birds eat plants. Some birds eat animals. So we have a rainbow lorikeet eating some plant there, some flowers. And we have an osprey catching a fish. Some birds have bright colors. That's a scarlet macaw. And you might have thought it was a parrot, right? They're very similar. Some birds are hard to see. That's the blue-throated hummingbird. Most birds sing. That's an indigo bunting. Birds live everywhere. A wandering albatross, otherwise known as a seagull, right? Birds are important to our world. So this is great if you're going for a walk and you find a feather on your walk or you see a nest and your little one is intrigued by birds, you could pick up a copy of Curious About Birds.